Hello, good morning. I'm happy that you're with me this morning hearing me. I believe God has a purpose for allowing you to be with me this morning. Today I am starting a teaching on perversion and I want to read from the book of Leviticus chapter 18. I'll read from verse 22. It says, you shall not lie with a, a male as with a woman. It is an abomination and you shall not lie with any animal and so make yourself unclean with it. Neither shall any woman give herself to an animal to lie with. It is perversion. Do not make yourselves unclean by any of these things. I will stop there. The Bible clearly states that when you go the wrong way, when you do things the wrong way, it can lead to perversion. It, it becomes perversion. When you're talking about perversion, in most cases, it is associated with sexual deviation, when people deviate from the normal purpose for which God created sex. You begin to see it as um, perversion. But I want you to know that anything can be perverted. When you're talking about perversion, you're talking about deviating from the original purpose for which God created a thing. And so when you deviate, when you tend to deviate at every given point in time from the original purpose for which that thing was created, then it is perversion. Your speech can be perverted, justice can be perverted, sex can be perverted. There are a lot of things that can equally add up to be a form of perversion. And so when things are not done the normal way, at the end of the day, it becomes perversion and you find that in most cases these days a lot of people are getting involved in one form of perversion or the other because the devils have actually succeeded in lying to people that perversion is equal to freedom which is a lie is the lie of the devil the devil actually did not create anything but those things that god have created for our good he has come into it to pervert it, to, to make man to begin to deviate from the original plan and purpose, thereby making it to become destructive to them. And the people don't even know it because he has lied to them that is a form of freedom. And so what is supposed to be for their good, you see them beginning to use it for evil and eventually it leads to destruction. Shakespeare actually says that perversion smells foul. When you talk about perversion, it, it's, it's, it's foul, it's, it's, it's evil, it's what should not be you know, tampered with. At the end of the day, you, you discover that it is what you should not even near, you should not even go near because the end result is not always good. I have just told you that it is deviation from the original purpose of anything and so when you begin to deviate then perversion is beginning to set in and so you must begin to watch it today psychologists tend to they tend to want to um coat it they want to sugarcoat it they don't want to give it the real name of what it is they now begin to tell you that oh um, perversion is actually a, a deviation for from sex what's deviation deviation is going <laughs> against the normal you know way they are just trying to me they are just trying to sugarcoat it or they will not call it another name paraphilia they tell you it's paraphilia to me that is just english let us use the proper word which is perversion so that you can know the the, the intents of what you're getting involved in so that you can begin to decide and make up your mind and ask for god to help you to stay away from it because the end result is not going to be good then what are some of those things that characterize that characterizes perversion what what are those characteristics that make you know that this is a perverted act you know when you're talking about those things like i said sex is one of the most things that is easily perverted these days you find out that a lot of people now begin to you know go do go about sexual acts in the contrary in the negative way which is 
perversion. And um, one of those things is, is that you find people who have a bending to view naked people. They have a bending to view, they are more inclined to want to view naked, na naked people. You know, you find some people, they plant cameras in other people's homes because they want to be able to view them either when they're dressing or undressing or when they're taking their shower because they have this perversion in them and they don't even know it. I am going to take time to begin to enumerate on some of these things that will make you know that this is perversion or not. And if you're just joining me, I am Pastor Lucy Oko and I want to take at this time to talk to you about you taking a personal stand with God. You need a relationship with Jesus. You need fellowship with God that whatever you have involved yourself in, you can begin to do away with it when you have God. And that brings me to invite you specially to our program that is coming up this uh, on the 14th of June. It's a recovery program. We have had this healing miracle over the years and lots of testimonies have come forth. I know that as you make up time to attend this special edition, the Lord God will visit you. You may be battling with one issue or the other. It could be perversion, it could be alcoholism, it could be addiction, it could be you, you, you are of age, you are still not married, it could be that your wife has worked out on you, it could be that you don't, you don't have a man coming to you to want to marry you and settle with you. Or you're sick in your body. Whatever issues or challenges that you have, I want you to make out time to attend this program. Have a blessed week. Second Samuel chapter 3 verse 29 Let it rest on the head of Joab and on all his father's house and let there not fill from the house of Joab one that hath an issue or that is a leper or that leaneth on a staff or that falleth on the sword or that lacketh bread all because of the sins of one man here comes another time to experience total recovery as Sovereign Word Church presents Day of Recovery theme oh god by your mercies intervene dates june 14 2015 at Oromino hall airport hotel ikeja starting by 4 p.m ministering dr antonio oko the apostle of recovery most afflictions of life from blindness sickness name it they are acts of judgment on the sins of the past when mercy shows up grace is released and i trust god as you come all kinds of miracles will be released into your life for inquiries or seat reservations, call 0809-444-5025. Be part of it as mercy suspends judgments.